Folks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have lost another former player to another team. This time, it is former Buccaneers starting safety Keanu Neal joining the Pittsburgh Steelers on a two-year contract. And this is another situation, and I talked about this in the Scotty Miller video, uh, Scott or, Scotty Miller video, words are hard, but in that video, I talked about Scotty Miller joining the Falcons to pursue more opportunities. And I feel like a very similar thing could be said here with the Pittsburgh Steelers and Keanu O'Neill. Keanu O'Neill could get some starting opportunities over there in Pittsburgh, but man, oh man, this one for me personally stinks. I was a pretty big fan of Keanu O'Neill. I really loved what he did for the Buccaneers in this previous season. I thought that he was a capable starting safety, and we don't know the contract numbers yet besides it is a two-year contract with the Steelers, but I'm going to be very interested to see the amount that Keanu O'Neill is getting paid because he was one of those guys that I was really hoping the Buccaneers would be able to bring back and would have a pretty solid starting safety duo with Antoine Winfield Jr. Now, we don't even know if the Buccaneers were interested that much in bringing, Ant or bringing Keanu Neal back into the mix. We know that Bowles has talked about the possibility of bringing back some guys like Will Golston and Akeem Hicks along the defensive line and Logan Ryan at safety. They Bowles has said that they want to bring possibly Logan Ryan back into the mix, but they will see what their options are. And look, the Bucks could also draft a safety in the first round. I know a lot of people have been talking about Brian Branch in round one, possibly even like Sidney Brown in round two or three. And those are some fantastic safeties, by the way, who I think would pair up excellently with Antoine Winfield Jr. And they could still go out and get some other safeties in the veteran free agent pool for not a lot of money. And they still have Nolan Turner there. And you got to remember, Todd Bowles is really, really good at developing safeties. That is like... His main thing that he can do as a defensive guy, or his top thing that I guess he can do as a defensive guy, is generate a lot of pass rush with a lot of blitzing and whatnot, and developing safeties. I mean, you look at some of the times that he had with the New York Jets and whatnot, he was really developing guys left, right, and center. And we've seen a very similar thing with the Buccaneers. Keanu Neal, I think, has developed and was able to go get other opportunities elsewhere. Jordan Whitehead, Mike Edwards, those were guys who really did benefit from being in a Todd Bowles style of defense. And Keanu Neal is the latest recipient of that growth and development. He returned to playing safety in his time with the Buccaneers. He used to play linebacker for the Cowboys. Now he's back playing safety. And... He did pretty darn well, and it has gotten him another opportunity here with Pittsburgh. So, this one is unfortunate in my opinion. I thought Keanu Neal would be a guy that would be really cool to bring back and be a solid starting guy next to Antoine Winfield Jr., but now the Buccaneers are going to have to look elsewhere. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Do you want to see the Buccaneers add a mix of a veteran free agent safety and draft somebody in the early rounds? Do you want to see them just draft somebody in the early rounds? What are your overall thoughts on the Buccaneers safety position? I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.